This video is going to be a little bit different. This past weekend is something that I did. Essentially, I signed up for a mastermind course with Lewis House, and you guys saw a video about that back in January. And essentially what it is, is like taking a business class, but there's network relationships built. It's exactly catered towards everything that we're all doing, like specifically for that. It's not like extra classes here and there that you just have to take to finish a credential. It's like a year long business course, but it's also about mindset and relationships and like growing as a person. And I want to share that with you guys because that's what I'm here for. I want to share like what I learned and what happened this weekend and like put it out there in the universe because it was so amazing. It was so amazing. This video does have a workout in the video because I did one. So you guys will see that. But essentially it's just going to be a big, a big story. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first night was the night of dinner. I haven't seen these people in months, except for a couple of them that I see from time to time who live in the area, but it's been months since I've seen some of these people. Let me just make sure. You good? <sighs> oh God. Oh yeah. How do you Real feel good. about that, Jenna? I gotta check. The light is so good in this apartment. <laughs> so these are my friends. Lights. Wherever there's a good lighting. You've met Jenna once before a few ago. Check out this oh light. Oh gosh, you're <laughs> still <laughs> <laughs> this is my most embarrassing I friend. <laughs> I got the moves. <laughs> oh dear. So Big we're games. all dressed up. I'm wearing the same thing I wear every day. I'll just day. let him intro the video. Much. Yes. Hey, what's up everybody? <laughs> my name's Sterling Griffin and this is Amanda Bucci. Welcome to the video guys. We are headed out to dinner. It's our second weekend with Lewis House's Mastermind group. These are two people that I'm going to be just spending some time with this weekend more because one of them lives here, one of them is staying with me for Living the weekend. Living here. Anyways, we're headed to dinner and I'll take you guys with us. We have lots of fun stuff going on for the weekend. Like there's surprises that we don't know about. So like I will show you guys what happens as it happens, but there's lots of stuff we don't know about, but it's gonna be like lots of learning and lots of, um, lots of growth, lots of transformation and stuff. So can't wait to show you guys. Picture. Ooh. Here, how do you do this? Oh. Sterling Griffin. How do you do this? What are you gonna do? Just wait. Oh. Do you smile? This dinner was in a beautiful location in Santa Monica at this restaurant that was rented out, and it was just, it was like so nicely put together. Secret door. Literally a secret door. Cute. You're so weird. Why not? So this is my former life. You're being transparent. It's <laughs> as transparent as I can. I think one of my favorite things in the world is these little sweet potato chips. They're so good. And we have a tuna taco. This looks absolutely delicious. Tuna is my favorite. Oh, this is so good. Oh, wow. Okay, so how did you hear about this? How did it all happen? During the dinner, Grant Cardone showed up as a guest speaker. Previously, Lewis has been known to get some really amazing, impactful speakers to come talk to us and converse with us. And Grant Cardone is a New York Times bestseller of the book 10X Rule. If you guys have ever read that or have read his book, uh, Be Obsessed or Be Average, and that was another amazing book. He came to talk to us, and he has a very intense personality. But I'm going to be the guy that says, I don't know what I'm doing. So it could be a real estate deal, it could be with a, a, a buy, buying property, it could be with social media. I told Lewis tonight, I said, dude, I don't know what I'm doing on social media. <laughs> He's like, you're doing a pretty good problem. job for not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Holding the freaking truck up, right? You don't just keep pushing. So I just know I'm not the problem in my organization, ever. I am never the problem, okay? Doesn't mean I can't be wrong, but I'm pushing. And when I push, something's gonna happen. The main thing that I took away from Grant was that you have to use your selfish muscle a little bit more than you normally would do. So you have to kind of realize what your dreams are and you have to realize what you really want out of life and then anything that doesn't tr directly connect to that or is like ruining that, you have to just cut it out of your life. Intense, right? Intense. <laughs> Interrupting your uh, viewing of this video with a workout, which is still part of this video. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying what's going on so far in the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and commenting what you learned so far. 
still have day two tomorrow, so make sure you guys are still watching because stuff is so valuable. <laughs> Along with that, I just feel so grateful to be part of this amazing group of people. It just feels really, it's cool to just be around people that are like doing a lot and like we're asking each other questions like, okay, what's stopping you from doing this? And okay, like what can you do next? Like what do you think your next step is? Like what do you need support on? And like all these people are just there to support you. And I think that's really amazing. And like I, I like want to uh, create this community to be more like that and just ask people like, okay, like what, what are you struggling with? Like what do you need help? What do you need help and support on? Like I want to ask you guys that stuff. Are you guys going up? Yeah. Oh, I'm going out. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Say hi, guys. Hey. Uh, they wanted to be on the vlog. <laughs> I don't know who they are. Anyways. I want y'all to support each other. Why can't I get in here? No! I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my thing Before my life is over, every moment fade away I keep going, I keep smiling, I keep doing my things Before my life is over and my chance just take her wings Searching for a mission, life's no competition It has no definition, no, no, no and we have another awesome location in Santa Monica where the whole entire event was for the weekend. Morning guys, it's the next day and we are at our location for the weekend. It's just a hotel and we're in like an event center. Um, it's absolutely beautiful here. This is the view that we have. It's just right of Santa Monica. So pretty. It's powerful and so that's why he seeks out weakness and eliminates it wherever he finds it. We got there and we started talking through what the biggest wins in like the last four months were for all of us like personal life business life all of that stuff and we also talked about what wasn't working after that we had Bedros Koulian come in and he is an amazing speaker he is an amazing entrepreneur he talked to us about masterminds and you guys heard me talk about that a few months ago when I started my own group and it's been so amazing he just talked to us more about structuring it and it was just super mind opening and helpful all right so if I do my job well guys you should be rocking and rolling in about 58 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, you should be an expert. I am running the questions that I get asked most. If you don't know me, my name is Pedro Stulian. As Lula said, we escaped communist Armenia in 1980. I was six years old. One of the coolest things we got to do was actually uh, be in a group, and then the person who was the person that everyone was talking about took a step back from the group, and then everybody else in the group would talk about them as if they weren't there. And you would think it'd be a mean thing, but it was actually such a uh, supportive environment because everybody in the group is there to talk about the person and what they can do better. And it was coming from a loving place, and all these people are dealing with similar things and working through what's not working for them personally and mindset and spiritually and then in business and their business what they can actually do better so it was really cool to hear just people talking about what you could do better without you having to provide any feedback or defend yourself it was just what can Amanda do better what can Melissa do better what can Jenna do better what can Mike do better every single person was able to get feedback and it was so incredible Jenna how do you feel about the day so far good good hi I feel so good she didn't know you she was talking to you guys <laughs> And after that, we had a speaker that's actually Ariana Grande's social media manager, <laughs> I believe, celebrity social media manager. Not gonna work so well on Instagram, but still, it's right now it won't until it ages up. Because you're, you're talking about a very young demo. Instagram just reached 790 million people. So Facebook, for sure, 
because it's an older demo, they're gonna wanna hear that. And he talked to us about the Instagram algorithm and how to make it better and things that I took away just to share with you guys, some like insider secrets. The more you use Instagram stories, the better. And using Instagram, posting one time a day is plenty fine, posting more than that doesn't help the algorithm, but posting on social, on Instagram stories four to 16 times a day, but like using a lot of the features is good and it's gonna help your stuff shoot up in the feed. So check out that and make sure that your, your posts are good and they're speaking directly to an audience that you wanna talk to and not just, you're not just sharing stuff about yourself, but you're sharing stuff that connects with other people. So next thing that's going on, her podcast came out yesterday, Dr. Lowe. She, we did a podcast like forever ago. It was like months ago. Um, and she's gonna stick me in the butt with the needle. Who doesn't want to do that? Yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shot action. Oh, so sweet. Muscly, the more it's like harder to relax. It's cute. You doing okay? Uh huh. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Just the butt. So what did you put in me? So we put B vitamins and we also put vitamin D and glutathione because you work out so much. Mm -hmm. So this makes sure that you detox properly. And we have magnesium, CoQ10, and L-carnitine helps with fat burning. And got it. Yeah. Thanks, babe. You rock. Go listen to her podcast. Dr. Tomorrow. Low Radio. Oh, that's on your podcast. It's yes. on mine. <laughs> Link in the description. And we are having some dinner. You You're gonna promote it on yours like crazy. <laughs> Cross marketing, was that what you called it? Shout out. So, uh, you gotta yeah, say yeah. your handle if you want this to work. Oh, you yeah. want the at shout out, Cole. Cole. At Cole Hatter. <laughs> One word. Do you want the shout out? And manager. Somebody always gets us the best. I know. Mm -hmm. Totally. Mm -hmm. Mashed potatoes, I'll have some. Give me those. <laughs> oh, you're gonna <laughs> <laughs> Give me those. This smells like home. You know how mashed potatoes smell like home? Do you really? agree? Sea bass and mashed potatoes. This is, Butter. This is uh, that's an exchange. Are you having fun? <laughs> I'm just making sure I get all the angles. Cole, do you want some potatoes? No, say thank, thank you. you. Say thank you to Cole for getting good angles of the potatoes. Is that one of the demands you made? Wait, let me get the better angle. Serve me at dinner. There we go. Is there a good side? Spin, spin, spin. <laughs> Aside from like the amazing location and the amazing people and the positive uplifting experience that I had, getting information from speakers and like valuable information from my peers and colleagues, I learned something that is really relevant to you guys and to everybody who's, who's potentially listening to this. And it's the idea that there's something that you have that's a really big goal and a big dream of yours. And there's something in your head that's stopping you from getting there. And without someone asking you that and like pulling it out of you, you might not even be figuring out and thinking and thinking about what it is, nor are you figuring out how to solve that, how to solve that problem. So I want you guys to think about this right now. Is there something that you have a big goal of doing, whether it be to break into a new career, whether it be to move somewhere new, whether it be to break up with a toxic, person or like get out of a toxic relationship and move into like new more positive relationships or is it passing an exam or is it getting a promotion or is it becoming an entrepreneur is it like starting a fitness Instagram is it any of those things do you have a big goal I'm sure a lot of you do so think of that big goal right now put it in your head even like write it in the comment section because I am gonna ask you to do one more thing right now think about that big goal and think about why you haven't achieved it yet why you haven't achieved it yet. What is really stopping you from having achieved that goal? And if it's something that's like like financials or if it's something that's like not in your control, I'm sure there's something that is in your control that you can do in order to continue your progression forward towards that goal. So if you think about that right now, I want you to comment in the comment section what your biggest goal is, what you would absolutely love to do in your life, what is something that you are just craving so badly that you just really want to do and you see someone else has it and you really want it or you just know it's a possibility for you even if you don't think it's a possibility for you and you don't have that self-confidence to to decide like yes this is something that I can do I want you to write it down anyway I want you to 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 feel into that and say you know what this is something that I can do regardless of whether or not I think it right now I want you to write it down and then I want you to comment below also 
what is the thing that's really holding you back from getting there? Because just talking about those things, guys, I don't know about you, but for me, I have a lot of stuff that holds me back. For me, those things are um, <laughs> caring about what other people are thinking of me, even if it's those those people that I know aren't my people. Like you guys listening that are that are like really connecting to this, like and listening to what I say and you're just like, yes, you guys are my people. And there's some people that are watching this or like watching what I do and, and they're, they're thinking something negative about me or they're whatever it is. Those people aren't my people and I don't have to speak to them. And that's like something that I super struggle with uh, being a YouTuber and like putting my like heart and soul open on the internet Like I literally wear my heart on my sleeve and that's one of the things that I struggle with the absolute most and sometimes it just cripples me man like sometimes it just it stops me from it holds me back from doing a lot Like a lot it holds me back way more often than not regardless of whether it looks like I'm confident here or not It holds me back quite often and like I'm getting like a lump in my throat just thinking about it but um, if I were to write that down I have big goals and dreams and I want to impact so many people in the world and change the way they think about themselves and change the way they think about life and like the way that they live and the way that they think and the way that they eat and the way that they train and the way that they feel I want to change the way so many people feel because I know what it's like to have that transformation of mindset and to feel really good and it feels really amazing but there's stuff that holds us back all the time so I want you guys to write it down and just like feel into it and say like, you know what, this is the thing that's holding me back. And I also want you to write down a solution for yourself. What is the next step that you're gonna take? You don't have to say like what all the steps you're gonna take is, what is one step that you're gonna take right now? Just one, just write that, write the, those three things down. What is your big goal? What is holding you back? And what is the one step you're going to take today to get there? And that's the biggest thing that I learned from this weekend. Thank you to Lewis and thank you to his entire team for putting together such an amazing weekend. Thank you to everybody in my mastermind group who's watching this that I just I just love and appreciate so much and I just wanna like love on those people and appreciate them and just make them feel known because there's so many amazing people in my life that I just wanna thank and I feel grateful for um, and I'm sure there's plenty of amazing people in your life that you want to thank as well. So. After you do all that, go text that person that you wanna thank and uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you wanna see more stuff like this from me. I feel my happiest when I'm doing stuff like this and putting stuff like this out there because I think it's just really real. So if you agree, let me know and uh, watch the rest of the clips because they're funny as hell. I'll catch you guys in the next video. She's a model, look at that girl! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.